When the Sundowns Academy accepts players into their fold, they look at players' techniques, tactical awareness, physical profile, and how the player interacts with his teammates. Percy Dow ticked all those boxes and then some. So it, it felt like a learning cave for me because I wanted to learn more as a footballer. So being in the academy it helped a lot because I knew that I was, I was going to develop in my talent and be a better player. I, I learned how to interact with people because we had players from the KZN, players from Limpopo, so we learned a lot of languages and we learned how to play together because it was no longer about yourself, man. it was about the team. At the academy, Percy was under the tutelage of coach Rulani Mukwena, whose influence has had quite the effect on the young player. I learned a lot of things from Rulani, especially from my belief, he's one of the best coaches I've worked with. And I also learned how to play in small tight spaces. I learned how to play as a number 10. I learned how to play as a wing. I learned how to be humble because I think that's the key. From a technical perspective, he's comfortable on the ball. He's got a very good left foot. Uh, he creates goals, scores goals, and has the ability to break lines uh, with individual movements uh, with the ball, uh, which, which you don't really find in South African football from young players at the moment. The confidence, the technical awareness, uh, the ability to make the right decisions, when to run with the ball, when to pass. Rulani, Percy and the rest of the academy infused new energy into Clapham High School, which made big waves in Durban at last year's Came with Zippe Schools Cup. No, it was a good feeling because we never won anything in the development. So being part of the Came with Zippe, it helped us because we, we could reach, we went for another level there. It was more about winning and, and working as a team because I believe the guys like Kaya, Avera, they did well also in the tournament. So it was more about exposure. We had to introduce ourselves to the country. Look, we played over 26 matches. From the top of my head, I think I can tell you that Percy scored about 11 of those goals, probably had about 15 assists. This is a player that for us was so important from a tactical perspective. When teams play against Sundowns, they park the bus. Percy could give us this flexibility to say, OK, play him as a false nine. And when they are compact and come in to overload the centre to close, then you play him as a winger on the left or on the right, particularly if he's on the right to cut inside and to get shots and goal. But this is a player that has so much intelligence you get goals, but you also get assists in terms of creating these uh, scoring situations for the other teammates. Percy graduated from school's football straight into top flight when he was contracted to the first team. And his first taste of success for the Brazilians was against Zesco United in Zambia. Coach Pito told us we have to go in. Most of the winners we have to go in, just like Cristiano Ronaldo scores most of the goals. So we have to go in there. I saw Swing in the ball and I, okay, I said, let me try this. And then I went in. Then I think I was in the good space at the, at the right moment, at the right time. So I got the ball from this win. It was simple for me because it was only a tap, tap in. Next step for Tao, a place in the PSL. He played his debut game against Golden Arrows. And he scored against Golden Arrows. Going there, I, I had to, to chat with Rulani before the game. I told him that I would be on the bench. And he said to me, if you come in, take it easy play your game. When I came in, Coach Pizzo told me that I mustn't play for myself, I have to play for, for the team. So the first minutes of the game, I was a little bit nervous, because even my touches were not that good where I wanted them to be. Then, Tego, we always, I always talk to Tego. He tells me a lot of things. I learn a lot from him. I learn a lot from surprise. They, they told me that I have to be easy on the ball. I have to look up and play with them. And I, I saw a good chance of me breaking in. I saw a chance whereby I can score. And um, Tego, I think he did the post. And I, I came in late with a late run. That was the best moment in my Sundowns career. It felt like I could get more. It felt like I could play more minutes. It felt like I could take on the world. It, it was exciting. At 19, Tao's future looks bright with a K Motipa winner's gold medal, two first team goals and goals for the national under-20 team in the bag. The sky's the limit for the youngster. So he's got to remain humble, he's got to remain, uh, keep his feet on the ground, keep focused, keep working hard and, and listen to his coaches and his, and his teammates because they are there to support him, to build him and to make sure that he becomes what we think 
will uh, will be an international star. In my opinion, I think we, we rave about the talents and the skills of Messi's or Cristiano Ronaldo's. I can tell the football world to watch the space because this boy has got exactly that. He can score, he can create dead balls, uh, open play, one-on-ones, 3v1s, uh, solo efforts. And, and you know what, it's, it's, it's just a matter of time. I just want to be a player that wants to contribute to the success of the team. That's all I want. It's, it's more about being in the history book of Sundance. There's nothing about me. I, I have nothing to prove to anyone.